Okay, y'all, I got up this morning and I was so already stressed out when I woke up, <laughs> okay? <laughs> because oftentimes that happens, like when you first wake up, your cortisol is the highest. But I've been having like a lot of things going on in my 3D human life, like back to back to back to back. <laughs> like my windshield cracked, two of my dogs are sick. <laughs> They got sick all over my house, um, and it's just, like, a lot of stress and anxiety, <laughs> okay? And I was like, I need to do something right now to regulate my central nervous system because I usually go on an hour walk in the morning, but I couldn't because I had to clean my house from, like, my dogs getting sick. And I was like, okay, well, we're just going to get started with the day. And I was like, no, I have to go on a walk because if I don't regulate my central nervous system, I am going to have not a great day okay <laughs> so I'm out here and like all these things are just running through my mind of like all these things that are like breaking down right now <laughs> and I was like okay remember this is just a hologram this is just life lifing right now none of this means anything about me as a person or as a soul it's literally just 3d stuff that we will traverse through and we are safe right now and everything is okay, right? Because I, sometimes we jump to like survival mode, which don't help anybody. And so I'm walking around and I was like, you know what? I'm going to imagine and envision that everything has worked out. Like everything is okay. Everything got situated and sorted. Um, and that made me feel a little bit better. And I'm just like really feeling those emotions of like, I'm on a timeline where everything is taken care of, everything is done. And then I'm walking by my lake, <laughs> by my home, and there's this duck out there with like three little baby ducks, and they're swimming around. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. And something told me that I needed to sit down and watch them. And I was like, no, I need to get on my walk. And I was like, no, I'm gonna listen to my intuition. And so I sat down to watch them, and like the mama duck was like kind of like herding them around a little bit um and they just looked like they were having like so much fun and all of a sudden I just like envisioned me as like the mama duck and then her uh, like actually she had four babies I'm sorry four babies and so I was like three of those babies are my dogs and I have three dogs and then one of them is my son who's also been sick <laughs> and they were just like at such peace and just enjoying themselves and earlier on my walk, I had asked, like, um, spirit to, like, show me a sign that everything was going to be okay. And as soon as I sat down and I was watching them, I was like, this is it. I was like, this is the sign that I'm on the timeline. And I'm crying because I'm like, I'm just a mama duck out here doing, <laughs> doing everything that she can right now. <laughs> right? For her little babies. <laughs> and to not feel shameful and guilty and take that pressure off of myself. Right? And I was just crying and I was like, yep, that's exactly what I needed. Like I needed to listen to my intuition and sit down and be present in the moment and really feel those feelings and give myself grace and compassion because like the walk is great, but what I really needed was that moment with those ducks. <laughs> and so I wanted to say like, if you're in this space in life, like I get it, it's very intense and scary when things are like happening back to back to back. Uh, just remember like it's very important that you do some type of like self-care and self-love because oftentimes we put that on the back burner because we're like oh I gotta finish or I gotta figure this thing out like right now but if you can come from a space of like peace just like a little bit of peace and calm <laughs> before you start trying to take like action steps it's really going to help you regulate and like see that like oh this doesn't have anything to do with me this is just life you know what I mean like I don't need to feel guilty or shameful for these things happening. It's something that's like outside of me and it's fine. It's probably trying to help me grow in some type of way or see if I'm going to handle it differently because it might be a level up moment. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm sending you a big hug if this is the space that you're in, right? <laughs> because I totally get it. Uh, so sending you all the sparkly magical fairy vibes today. <laughs>